Hey, welcome back students. In this video I want to talk to you about the ionization of water and the water constant Kw, which is the ionization constant. And so first let me give you the equation of the uh, ionization of water and so this is what it is. And so we've got water which is H2O yeah, let me write that a little bit better. And this is going to ionize to form hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions. Now, even though we provide this equation to you in class and we tell you all about it, the one thing that's a little bit of a challenge for some students to grasp is how this really happens. And so let me show you down below here, little line to separate them. Let me show you how this really happens. So in solution, and let's just do this, we've got a container, and inside this container what happens is we've got water molecules, okay? And so we've got little water molecules, H2O here, we've got another one over here, and so on and so forth. Let's just say we've got a whole bunch of them in here, because in, in fact we really do have a lot of them in there. And if I draw the, the structures for these, and so essentially if I take this one here and I bring this outside, essentially I've got a oxygen molecule bonded to two hydrogens. Okay, and we know that we've got the electron pair on the oxygen. Now, since the water molecule essentially is a polar structure, because each of these hydrogens have a slightly positive charge compared to the delta negative, which is the negative charge of this particular structure, we notice that it has, actually does have a positive and a negative end. So what happens is, when you have more than one of these water molecules, which you have lots of in solution, another water molecule is going to come in and it'll have its two hydrogens bonded together and it'll have its lone pair. So we have a slightly negative charge here. This particular charge here is going to want to take this hydrogen and when it does it'll take it back into the mix and what you wind up forming is going to be this structure here, okay, which now has a overall minus charge and then you also have another structure now with that had the two hydrogens bonded to the water but now you've got another hydrogen bonded to it which is going to give it a positive charge and so this structure here is really what we're seeing here but we represent it as a hydrogen ion okay and then the other item here the OH is what we see on the other side this here is the ionization of water and this process happens both in the forward direction from left to right and it also happens in the opposite direction from right to left back and forth and when it does that you have an equilibrium situation that takes place the rate at which ions are formed and the rate at which water is formed and when we see that happening what we start to talk about at that point is the ionization constant and so let me just write that down here below so you can see what I'm talking about specifically and so the ionization constant essentially is an equation that allows us to look at the formation of ions in solution and we yet generally represent that constant as Kw and Kw then is going to be equal to the concentration of the hydrogen ions multiplied by the concentration of the hydroxide ions and the other thing that we know since this is a constant we know that it's going to happen at a very specific rate and this rate is going to be equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14 and so this is going to be the overall constant that we use. Keep in mind when we look at that that the units for this Kw are actually going to be molar squared. And the reason we kind of see that is because if we take the concentration of hydro hydrogen ion, which is a molar concentration, and we take the concentration of a hydroxide, which is also a molar concentration, we do get a molar squared. And so it kind of works out good for us because when we take this, it allows us then to kind of calculate the hydrogen ion concentrations and the hydroxide ion concentrations because both of those combined have to be equal to negative 14. And so the next couple of videos, we'll show you how we actually do that.